What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. The time has come, it is happening again. I'm going to be moving to a new hospital for my next clinical placement. Emergency medicine and critical care is finished and now I'm going to be starting women's health in a new hospital in a new city outside of London. I'm really excited to be going back because I had such a good time last time I went on peripheral placement. But today I've got a really busy day, I need to prepare quite a few things. I need to go do my shopping so I have at least a decent amount of food for the first couple of days when I get there. I need to go to Boots to get things like pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals, deodorant, hair gel, as you guys know, is very important to me and a whole bunch of other stuff. And yeah, I actually also need to pack. I haven't done any of that. I need to do a little bit of preparation for the online training, fill out some forms, send through some negative COVID tests, hopefully. And yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get started. All right, first stop, boots. works in your fourth and fifth years of medical school is that you do eight week rotations in different hospitals doing different placements and if those placements happen to be in London then I can stay living at home and I can just commute to and from the hospital but if they're not in London and they're too far away then I actually need to move for eight weeks to that hospital and do the placement over there which is what I'm doing right now all right next stop <laughs> Is the shopping all done so really all that I've gotten is sort of the basics the necessities that I'm gonna need the night that I arrive the morning after and maybe for the next day obviously when I go I still need to do a full-on shop for my sister and then of course tons of eggs because you know I eat that every single day and some ready-made pasta for those emergencies when you just need food right now. So I think I'm actually gonna keep these in a bag. See, I've got to say, I'm moving tomorrow, not today. I'm doing my shopping, my packing, etc. today, so that tomorrow I have barely anything to do. I just need to collect my stuff, hop in the car, and go. All right, let's go to my room so we can pack. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this room. Can't believe I have to leave this beauty that I've been building for like two years. Look at all this that I will have access to. <laughs> Anyways, such is life. All right guys, so it's time to pack. I've actually learned a lot from the first time that I did this. I'm gonna be taking way less stuff because I know exactly what I'm going to be needing. Obviously, I'm gonna be taking all of my exercising clothes to go on runs. I'm debating taking my exercise equipment. I've got some dumbbells, let me show you. These are heavy, boys. So I've got these two dumbbells. They're 10 kilograms each, and then I have an extra five kilogram plate for each of them hidden under there. But anyways, first thing I need to do is get my suitcase, which is in my sister's room. So let's go and do that. Hey, man, can I get my suitcase? You can. Fab. <laughs> you looked really worried. <laughs> so pro tip guys, if you live in a small apartment or you don't have much space, you can get beds that do this. How magical is that? My suitcase is down here. I think it's that one over there, all the way in the back. Shout out Nora, my camera woman. Whoop. Oh, there's my actual bag. Perfect. I think this is the one that I'm gonna take. Probably another bag. <laughs> <laughs> a bag within a bag. Do you think this has a bag in it as well? <sighs> so we don't need this. <laughs> All right, small one it is. You gonna put everything back just like it was? Yes, but not until I'm done packing. All right, thanks, sir. No All right. Ugh. Just need to take a deep breath and get started. <laughs> to the unfortunate realization that I definitely am gonna need a big suitcase, at least for this initial move where I need to take tons of stuff. <laughs> I need a big suitcase and then I think after that, coming back on the weekends and stuff, I can take a smaller one. So let's change that out. All right, big suitcase. <laughs> Excellent, time to swap these out. Last time on my 
previous peripheral placement, the sheets that were provided with the bed and the pillowcases and the blanket, the duvet, were just terrible. And so I bought my own, this is what they look like, and I am very, very excited to have actual sheets when I go. Alright guys, so check it out. I think we're pretty much done. I've got everything that I'll need for my formal attire when I'm in the hospital, exercise, running things, and gym equipment, or rather gym clothing. And then over here, a little bit of studying stuff, a ton of electronics, all the cables and wires that I'm gonna need, socks, battery packs, some cards to play games, etc. And I've also made a little pile on my desk here of things that I wanna put in my backpack, which I'm gonna take tomorrow, which I don't wanna do right now, but I'm putting them all in one place so that it's ready to go when I need it. I'll have another think about everything that's in there and double check that I've got everything that I need, but I think it's pretty much done. The only thing that's left to do is the kitchen, but I think I'm gonna do that after lunch because it's almost 1 p.m. This has all taken a lot longer than expected. I'm gonna go find Noor, we're gonna sit down, have some lunch, Lunch, and then continue this after that. So now what are we having for lunch? Fish tacos. And who cooked those yummy, yummy fish tacos? Me. Mmm. Let's see what we've got here. Lettuce. Some crispy, crispy fried fish. And then peppers and onion that were cooked in the oven. And of course, we need some tortilla bread. And that, my friends, is fish taco. While we do that, Noor's gonna tell you about how much of a good brother I am and how much she's gonna miss me. <laughs> so Noor, you can start whenever you're ready. Um, just tell the camera how much of a good brother I am. Not sure I can do that, bro. <laughs> wow. No, of course, Nasser's a 10 out of 10 brother. Thank you, um, thank you. So I'm obviously gonna miss him. I'm definitely not gonna be enjoying some quiet time <laughs> by myself. <laughs> Without me shouting playing Call of Duty. Noor and I were separated from each other when we went to university. I went to Canada. <laughs> that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Nora and I were separated from each other when we went to university. Yeah. I went to Canada, she went to the UK. Okay, um, and we like really missed living with each other ever since. So whenever I have to move away for clinical placement, it's always a sad time. Anything you want to say? Little camera before I turn it off? No. All right. And there are my three tacos. Yum. Looks good to me. So I'm currently sat down at my desk with a coffee post lunch and I'm going through some of the documentation that's been sent to us about our timetable for the upcoming weeks, who my clinical supervisor is, and I'm writing down all this information on Notion, setting up sort of like a template or a guideline for me over the next couple of weeks. Let me show you guys. So basically over here under my medical school page, for each different block that I do, so there's pediatrics, psychiatry, emergency medicine, and critical care, and now obs and gynae. For each one of these, if you open them, there's like a ton of information in there that just sort of helps me plan out my weeks and know where it is that I'm supposed to be every single day. And so now what I'm gonna do is click on Obs and Gynae and start that one from scratch. So I've got my timetable as well. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna be rotating through breast, Obs, Gynae, genital urinary medicine. And then there's two acronyms here that I don't know what they stand for off the top of my head. LW and GAU. Hopefully by the time this video goes live, <laughs> I'll know what they are. All right guys, all done with the admin. I've sent off all the emails I need to do, read through everything, collated all the information, and my Notion page is ready. Another thing that we need to do before we travel to our peripheral placement is send in proof of two negative COVID-19 lateral flow tests. I've already done the first one a couple of days ago. Nice and negative as you can see. And now it's time to do the second one. So I'm gonna show you guys what that process looks like. These are given to us by the university, by our hospital. So this is what you need from the kit. It's not really a test tube, but like a little container. You need one of those. You need a nasal swab, actual test cartridge, and then the test solution. So you place the drops of the solution, the little test tube thing, one more, okay. And I need to swab the back of my mouth and my nose. <clears throat> I feel like I've done this so much. I don't even gag anymore. But the nose one, the nose one's still tough. On the other side. Oh, God, gets me every time. <sighs> Jesus, 
All right, and then you mix it in here for 10 seconds. You squeeze the tip as you pull it out and then dispose of this safely. Close this without touching the tip and then place two drops on the sample of the, the testing cartridge. One and two. And then you set a 30 minute timer and you interpret the result then. All right, we'll come back in 30 minutes and hopefully that reads negative. All right, now let's go to the kitchen and get all the cutlery plates, bowls, and everything that I'm gonna need while I'm there. I've got the bag. I need to fill it. I'm gonna take as little as possible and just keep it there, use it for the bare minimum of what I need to do cooking wise, and just leave it at that. So I'm gonna take one plate, I'm gonna take my favorite bowl. Timer's up. Please be negative, please be negative, please be negative. E let's go. Another test, another negative result. All right, all done with the kitchen stuff. I've got my bowls, my mugs, my tea, my coffee in there, Tupperwares, famous apple cutter. Um, and these are all the snacks I bought earlier today from Tesco, plus some other things that I had at home. I think I'm just gonna lift this and leave it down over here until tomorrow. Yeah, I definitely needed the bigger suitcase. For the first move, when you take like absolutely everything, it's a good idea. It'll have to, ugh, that's heavy. Feels good to be done with that. It was a big to-do list for today. So I've really only got two more things that I want to do today. I want to do some OSCE prep, so practice for those exams that I've been talking about in a bunch of previous vlogs. So I'm gonna call Kenji and Georgina and see if they're up for that. And then at 5 p.m. I'm filming a YouTube video with two other YouTubers and so I'm gonna hop on a call and do some like medicine quiz or something like that. All right, so I'm about to hop on a call with Liddy and Hazal from Journey to Med. They're gonna ask me all kinds of questions, grill me about my anatomy knowledge, my medicine knowledge, and general knowledge as well. Do you guys wanna say hi? Hello. Hey. hey. Take it easy on me, okay? I will. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys after. Oh god, I'm nervous. So, hello, my name is Nasser, and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And yeah, hopefully I get a couple of things right. <laughs> So it's much later in the day now. Nora and I are gonna cook dinner and let me show you guys what we're making. Recently, we've been getting these gusto boxes. And what are we doing today, Nora? We're doing chicken stew. One pot creamy sun-dried tomato stew. So basically it comes like this, and then on the background there's all these instructions. And yeah, it's been honestly quite fun. Me and Nora are doing a little more brother-sister time, a little more quality time with each other in the kitchen. And honestly, the meals taste really good. We've been very, very impressed. And it's a nice change from what we've been cooking over and over and over again. So, shall we get started with that? Yeah, let's go. High five. <laughs> all right. Enjoy. just saw that beautiful dish go in the oven. It's looking very, very good and I can't wait to eat it. My room is still an absolute mess. Everything is unfinished, not fully tidy and yeah. I think I'm gonna close the vlog here for today and then pick it up again tomorrow as I finalize those things. And then Rachel comes and picks me up in the car and we start driving towards my new hospital. Just gonna have dinner, chill with my sister, maybe play some uh, Call of Duty with Kenji and the boys. And yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, we made it. This is probably the most large and heavy things that I've ever put onto a single suitcase. Exciting times, eh? I feel really unhelpful. No. So I feel like you have less stuff this time and I have more. Maybe it's the same amount. All right, so we've made it to the hospital and we're currently searching for the accommodation, which is always more difficult to find than we would expect. We've got 
and some info, but we're not seeing anything that matches our emails or pictures or anything like that. But I feel like we're in a horror movie. I feel like we can get killed. <laughs> check Where this area. Wait, check here on the Wait, right. Wait, is it this? It might be this, yeah. Yeah, yeah yes! that's our truck. Sorry. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Found it. Hello, I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so that's our keys, where we're supposed to we get have, keys from. I mean, we, we'll just have to go to main reception and have to sort that. Yeah, yeah. So, two hours later, we have arrived. It looks pretty big. There's quite a few student accommodation blocks around me. And we're just waiting to get our keys now from the porters and the reception. And then we're going to move in, show you guys my new room, my new kitchen, my new living area. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is the new spot. What do we think? A little bit bigger than the previous one, but uh, as Rachel said, the Feng Shui is, uh, is off. Let me go grab some of the other stuff and then give you guys a proper tour. That's everything. Moving into the room. Let's get unpacking. This is it from one corner. We've got the bed for which I've brought sheets this time. Window, which is actually quite nice. Looks out onto a street, which I really, really like. I love it when windows look out onto roads. It gives you something with movement to look at. Got a very questionable desk and chair over here. A couple of shelving units, closet, drawers. It's actually a pretty big room. Like there's a lot of space to walk around. The negatives of this place is that everything is sort of in this like hallway type scenario. So we've got the kitchen over here, which doesn't have a fan. Someone explain to me why there's no fan above the hob. Closet space, sink area over here, closets, Sorry. Rachel, <laughs> we've got the fridge back there. And then over here is the bathroom. So we've got the shower on the left with the sink and then the toilet on the right also with the sink. And this is the whole flat. This is where you come in from. And this is everyone's rooms. One, two, three, four, bathrooms and kitchen. Bit of an odd setup to say the least, but I am going to just unpack, put everything in its place, start to get comfortable and settled in to my new home for the next seven, eight weeks. Let's do it. Almost everything is in place. The desk area over here is looking a lot more neat. Got my laptop and my iPad, a couple of electronics up here, my OSCE book, toiletries and things like that. Got my weights in the corner, everything that I need right before I leave the room so I don't forget. Just some underwear and socks. This is empty in the moment. And then this is all of my gym gear. Closet is very empty, but I learned an important lesson last time I went on peripheral placement, which is that I don't need very much at all. So I've brought the bare minimum. Got my tripod yoga mat, all of my shoes, and then my bed with my new sheets. Looking quite nice, I quite like this design. Wireless charger over there for my phone, my Apple Watch and my AirPods. And that's pretty much it. Got a fan, armchair, and this little fella to keep watch over me. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the room. It's uh, completely done, everything's in its place. I'm gonna go put all my stuff in the kitchen and then I'll be fully moved in to this place for the next seven or eight weeks. Not exactly the neatest, but I've got everything that I need in its place. And yeah, over the next couple of days, I'm gonna go do a massive, massive supermarket shop and fill up my closet and the fridge. Fridge is pretty big too, can't complain. Got enough space for everything. And all right guys, that is it. That is me moving to my next hospital placement. I'm gonna be here for quite a few weeks now and I'm obviously gonna be vlogging my experience while I'm here. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel, see more content from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Wow. That's a blooper. Dropped it. If you could just turn it off, it's the big button. And the like, here, this one. This one, yeah, this one.